Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I want to talk about why do animals come to us? But please know at the end of this video, I'm going to show some photos. So please ensure that you watch those photos, okay? I was hoping that this story today would be a really uplifting and positive one, but with the news that I've had today, with one of the photos that you're about to see, it's turned into a little bit of a sad day for me today. So let's proceed. Why do animals come to us? They don't register who looks right. I'm going to go and live with that girl because she's got blonde hair. You know, like we have, you know, we have our preferences as humans. You know, heaps of people say, oh, I don't like that man because he drives a Volvo. Or, oh, I, I prefer men with black hair than brown hair. We all have those stereotypical physical attributes that we're attracted to in our own psyche, yes? So I don't ever judge that. But with animals, they don't do that. They are attracted to the energy that we are putting out. Have you noticed how dogs and cats run away from loud music, loud screaming? They don't, they, and their ears go back. They're not upset at the actual noise of what's being said. It's the pitch and the tone of that frequency, which is energy, is why they don't stay around. So over the years growing up, it's common to me that animals will come to me, okay? I won't say they always do, but there have been times in my life when it's notable that animals will come to me specifically. Just the other day I was sitting outside and this fly came and sat on my hand and I had this fly on my hand for over 10 minutes and I was moving my hand around and you could say, oh, well, you obviously had, you were filthy dirty, you hadn't had a shower in a week or I had something on my hand. But this fly just liked being on me. He was sitting on my nail for the longest times. But I don't have the photo of him today because it was a fly. But other things have come to me over the years. Noticeably, I was sitting out the back about a year ago. And a prey mantis was walking along the ground with his wings out. And when he got to my foot, he started climbing my um, pajama pants he came up and he sat on my thigh and he stayed there until he passed away he was about to die so did he come to me knowing that he was about to die and did he come to me out of that energy frequency where he felt safe could be so one of the photos today is a butterfly. Why did this butterfly build its cocoon in my front yard, right next to my front door, where it was very open to the elements and there's heaps of spiders around and lizards and things in my front yard. But why did he sit there for all those weeks in a cocoon until he came out of his cocoon? I've got the photo to show. So why was he right at my front door again did he feel safe was it some sort of protection for him then i've also included a photo of the dragonflies now i don't know about you but right now today i've got about 50 blue dragonflies just in my front yard they go into my backyard and they hang around or my clothesline and they sit on my furniture now, you could say, oh, yeah, they're just resting their wings because it's a warmer day. But my, why my yard? I look over my fence and they've got none in their backyard. I go over the other side and I look over their fence and there's none in their backyard. But then I turn around and it's just like all these dragonflies are having this little powwow in my backyard. My backyard is no different to anybody else's, by the way got the same trees same flowers same grass same bricks so why do they pick my house I'd like to hear your suggestions so let's talk about the fox 
I was talking to this lady and she was telling me a story about how she has this house in a row of all these other houses. There's no fences. But for some reason, this fox decided to go to her house. He was mangy, sickly, unkempt, unfed. So she started feeding this fox. And when you look at the photo, because there is a photo coming up, you're going to say, wow, because she's got the before when he's not really looking good. And then the after photo when he's really healthy again. So she keeps feeding this fox and it keeps coming back. So if you are the person I was talking to and if you do want to put your name to this, whoever you are, <laughs> please comment below and say, yes, this is my fox, this is the story. Because we would all love to hear your story, correct? So let's talk about the last photo now. It was only about four months ago that a new kitten started coming to my house. Somebody had cut his tail off, so he only had a little stump. He lived next door to us, and I was talking to the people in there one day, and she said, oh yeah, that's Clover. His name's Clover. Clover virtually lived at my house every day. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but why was Clover always at my house? I'd wake up and he'd be asleep on my outside furniture. I'd go out in the afternoon and he'd be sitting there waiting for me to come and play with him. Found out this morning that he got hit by a car and is now in the afterlife. It's sad. So, did Clover know, just like that prey mantis, do animals actually know, like a predestined event, that they're not going to live long? And so they search out for safety and protection when they know it's near their time. If we look at animals, they will walk hundreds of miles to their final resting place where elephants go generally in caves to perish. So all their bones are together in a cave. So I'd love to hear your thoughts below on why animals pick a certain person, why they or how they know who to go to. And I'd also like to hear your thoughts, especially if you've had this as well. And let me think and let me know so others can read your stories as well as to how animals know to come to us because it is all a synchronicity. There's no Nothing happens coincidentally, right? There's no coincidences. So these animals are aware of something greater than we can possibly ever know, correct? So I hope that you like looking at the photos. Thank you so much for your time today, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.